If two lines, such as line AB and line CD, do not meet or never touch, they are parallel lines. The symbol for parallel lines is two vertical lines. So line AB is parallel to line CD. And a line that cuts across parallel lines, such as line EH, is called a transversal. And when this happens, eight angles are created and two sets of equal angles are created. In this diagram, angles W, S, Y, and P are all equal. And angles X, T, Z, and R are also all equal. Now, if we know the measurement of one of the eight angles, we can find the measurement of the other seven angles. For instance, if angle Y equals 115 degrees, then we know that angles W, S, and P are also 115 degrees. And since angle Y and angle R together form a straight angle, which has a measurement of 180 degrees, angle R will equal 180 degrees minus angle Y, or 115 degrees. So angle R equals 65 degrees. Since angle R is equal to angles X, T, and Z, then angles X, T, and Z are also equal to 65 degrees. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.